Welcome to this month's Art at the Clayton Center. This month we have two fabulous artists that you definitely want to come down here and check out. We have a Mr. Ryan Fox who was a travel photographer and has uh, ventured out and he's done watercolors of his photography. Absolutely fascinating, all sorts of colors and content. Definitely get down here and see Ryan's work. Also on the other side we have Jill Hunt. She has uh, presented a whole plethora of hand-painted silks. It is just amazing. She has portraits, landscapes, anything you name it. She has done a wonderful job with watercolor on silk. Definitely come down here this month. The exhibit will be up until the end of June. As always, come help us celebrate and bring art to Clayton. My name is Ryan Fox, I'm a visual artist. Uh, I live outside of Raleigh, North Carolina now, and I've been painting watercolors for about seven years. Now my background is I was a, a professional travel photographer for a decade. You can see some of my images are from all over the world. And about seven or eight years ago, I realized that uh, digital photography killed the market for traveling. And I thought, well, if I can't travel and take photographs, maybe I should go back to painting. I took one watercolor class in college, and then I decided to start painting again seven years ago. This is one of the first probably 30 paintings that I did after getting back into painting. This is a very detailed one, it drove me absolutely bonkers. So not all my work is, is uh, super detailed, some of it's very loose, but it's all based on the photographs I shot as a professional child photographer and it's fantastic to have the background as a photographer because you understand composition, you have a good understanding of colors. You know, I just had to learn how to do watercolor paint. So now I do watercolors, I do a variety of uh, techniques on different surfaces. Uh, like I said, some of them are very detailed, some of them are very kind of loose and abstract. It's just fun because you can go to work and every day you can do something completely different. Most of the stuff I had to learn, you know, it was just through YouTube and just through trial and error. But there's so many ideas out there and it's so much more accessible than it was, you know, 15, 16 years ago when everything was just a couple books in the library or the bookstore. It's really fun because I see all these different things I want to try every single day and I'm constantly inspired to try new work. Sometimes I have a, a, a good idea in my head for what I want to finish with. Unfortunately, it never happens. You know, I have some paintings here. There's an Eiffel Tower painting over here where I started as just an abstract. I just put colors down and it's actually painted on plastic, which is why it looks like all the colors sitting on top because it actually is. And then I went into the abstract painting and made something representational of it. So, yeah, it's just practicing every single day. I paint almost six days a week. So I'm constantly doing it. And if I take two weeks off, I notice a difference when I go back. Jill Hunt. I'm excited to have my silk paintings here on display at the Clayton Center this month. I am a professional artist as well as a full-time art teacher with Wake County Public Schools. For the most time that I've taught, um, I've worked with elementary age kids. They're so easily motivated and just so naturally creative. My inspiration for my paintings, there's a variety of inspiration actually. Um, some come from photographs that touch me, um, special places, special things that have meaning to me beyond what you might see in the painting yourself. And sometimes they just come entirely from my imagination. Um, so I do landscapes, florals, um, portraits, um, just a variety of, of different images, even animals. I'm a shy person and a and a quiet uh, person that keeps to herself most of the time. I'm a behind the scenes person, so my artwork is my way of expressing myself. Um, so being able to put it out there for people to look at and me to be kind of back outside of that, that's my way of, of putting myself out there. 